until the end right. of the year. Hey, welcome back, guys. But part that's not all. Right here. Let's watch. There's another piece of exciting uh, news regarding uh, PlayStation 3 titles. Uh, Mr. Yamauchi of Polyphony Digital is here to speak about that. Okay, PlayStation 3, Gran Turismo, selling buckets. I'm buying Gran Turismo. You're buying Gran Turismo. Your friend's buying Gran Turismo. Yes, hello, everyone. My name is Yamauchi. Today, I'm here to talk about uh, uh, Gran Turismo 6, GD6, just briefly, and give you an overview. Uh, Gran Turismo 6, uh, we focus on two things about this. One, of course, is the essential part of the um, game. And there's a strong inward energy uh, concentrating on the uh, basic essentials of the game itself. Uh, but also, we developed a new rendering engine uh, workable for the next generation with a huge improvement. And also, in the history of 15 years of Gran Turismo, I think this is the biggest change. The new simulation engine was created. Wow, inside the cars look great. High precision modeling. Uh, was introduced in cars uh, 1200. Of Guys, I will have a link to the full video as well. So if you don't want to watch my whole little parts, 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 modeling. or don't care about what I got to say, Gran Turismo 5 uh, was a title with also, a nice racing games number of active games. users That's among all the PlayStation titles. Uh, but uh, uh, based on the experiences and feedback received in the three years, we uh, wanted to introduce uh, user friendly, easy to use online functionality with the Lighting uh, effects, um, high uh, uh, functionalities, and uh, 37 uh, scenes and 76 uh, uh, course layout will be available, but uh, they will be added going forward. And this is the aerial photo of uh, the Spanish town of Londa. That's pretty cool. Apps. Hmm. Uh, uh, the community function uh, uh, connected through online playing. Um, with GT5, it was contained within P3, but with Gran Turismo 6, can be accessed from smartphones, or tablets, and uh, personal computers. And therefore, why not the PlayStation Vita? Realize Gran Turismo uh, online uh, access is on all screens, and uh, that's about inward. Uh, uh, an inbound energy, but there's an outbound energy emanating from uh, this game, uh, and uh, we are getting ready to provide you with the activities that uh, are innovative and breaks out on the uh, video game industry, as it were. One is the uh, uh, Vision Gran Turismo. Uh, Vision Gran Turismo project is a celebration of the 15th year of Gran Turismo. Uh, we want you to think about Gran Turismo. We want you to design Gran Turismo cars and present us, uh, present to us with your ideas. We ask this, and more than 22 auto manufacturers or leading brands have uh, 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 agreed with this idea, and they've um, uh, come up with very sexy concept car designs. What? So here it is, the world of uh, GD6. Uh, uh, it's a better uh, essence. Wait, they want us to make cars? Uh, um, I'm confused right uh, there. More affordable, uh, the uh, essence of the uh, game as it should be. But also, uh, we have the project to uh, follow the em uh, outward uh, emanating energy uh, to improve the world of Gran Turismo 6. And I have a, yeah, I'm a, a game, so small say video clip say, uh, that don't understand the app uh, gives you the whole idea about outbound, of, inbound uh, Gran Turismo stuff. 6. Doesn't really matter. I'm buying Gran Turismo because I like Gran Turismo. I like racing games. Making cars out of clay. For people who love cars, and I like cars and things, I am definitely one of those people. I'm just going to turn it down because I don't know if that's... 
whatever song this is, is trademarked or whatever. I prefer not to even bother messing with YouTube policy. Every day of the day, YouTube is changing, guys. So basically, they're just showing a bunch of logos, and I'll just basically describe what's going on, even though you guys can see clearly. But you're here to watch my opinion. If you're still watching this video, that's why you're watching it, because why else? You can watch the whole video yourself from the link in the description. The point of the fact is, I'm buying Gran Turismo. I've always had Gran Turismo. The PS1 days. Sounds like the cars. I'm actually really looking forward to comparing this side by side to Drive Club, just graphically when this comes out. These I'm saying that is like, I know I'm gonna get Drive Club for free with the PlayStation Plus. Let me turn that down. I know I'm gonna get um, Drive Club for free with the PlayStation Plus, and I still have my PlayStation 3. Um, I'm not planning on trading in my PlayStation 3 to get a PlayStation 4. Um, when I was a, when I was younger, I always traded in my older system, my older system to get the newer systems. But I think the point in our lives when we have these systems where we are so connected online, where we have our downloadable content, PlayStation Plus, Xbox Live, I actually really don't want to um, sell my older consoles just to get a newer console when it's still going to be games. When you think about the fact, the hundred dollars and even the hundred fifty dollars that you might get to get upgrade towards a new system, that's literally only three games, and in a year you'll probably buy more than three games if you're like an avid gamer in any sense of the word. Get what I'm trying to say? So, not going to trade in. I don't think most people probably should trade in the older system for the newer system. Unless you definitely have to, but if you can manage it, you don't. I'm not saying that I'm better off. I'm just, for me, I want to keep my PS3 because I still see a lot of good games coming out for the PS3. And that's really rare. When the PS2 was um, heading out for the PS3, there was a few good titles, but... This for the PS3 seems like they had some solid stuff. Like in December, Gran Turismo is coming out. Still got Dark Souls coming out. I mean, Demon Souls. Uh, yeah, Dark Souls 2. I'm about to say Demon Souls. But anyways, that's been the Gran Turismo segment of the event. Try the PlayStation uh, GD series. How do you like it? Thank Mr. Yamauchi for his um, speech. Uh, GD6 will be available in Japan on December the 5th. In addition to the regular version, there will be a special 15th anniversary box that contains specially designed cars used for the game as well as a special booklet. Another news here is that uh, uh, on the date of the launch of Gran Turismo 6, uh, PlayStation, PlayStation 3 startup pack with Gran Turismo 6 will be made available uh, with a limited availability. It contains uh, PlayStation 3 with the 250 giga uh, hard disk and uh, Gran Turismo 6. It gives you a lot of uh, value for your money. We want to reach as large the customer base as possible so that they can enjoy the latest Gran Turismo experience. So a new PlayStation bundle with Gran Turismo, and to be just like how there's more a uh, powerful bundle. titles available and coming your way for PS Black PlayStation 3 in the days ahead. So stay tuned. Alright, we're about to talk about PS4 guys. Thanks for watching. This has been the PS3 segment. Next part.